Hello photographers and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode 30 and today we're going to be heading off and locating ourselves a ravine and exploring it. So yeah, um, before we get going to the ravine you need to make sure that you have your standard adventure kit and a few other special things because ravines are a naturally generated structure in Minecraft and they're a bit different to a regular cave. Um, they can occur underground where they're most common or they can occur on the surface. For this tutorial we're actually going to be looking at a surface ravine just to make it a little bit easier on our first time around. So, um, before we begin here you need to make sure you've got your standard kit, so swords, bow, preferably more arrows than what I have but it doesn't matter that much, food, torches, la ladders are something special. Um, some blocks to build with um, and that kind of thing um, and always bring some wood because we always need to end up running into needing some wood so bring all of that but we need a few specialist things so we've got some ladders some gravel and a water bucket now we're going to need those because what a ravine is is essentially a huge gash in the earth and it goes quite deep it can go down to around 50 blocks deep so um, it can be quite a challenge to get in and out of um, unless you unless you know what you're doing basically so there's a ravine not far away from the village um, just a bit beyond the village I think I've been to it before in one of the very very early episodes something like episode 3 or something when we did the armor making tutorial um, and we're going to be going and checking that one out because I know that that is for a fact a surface ravine so while we head over there, um, I'll meet you over there and we'll cut this bit out because it's just mindless traveling. So I will be right back guys. And as you can see the ravine's just down there. I marked it off with the beacon. If you remember when we did the beacons tutorial, um, I marked it off. I think there's a cave nearby as well. We're not too interested in that today but we're interested in the ravine. So. This ravine should be relatively easy to explore, I'm hoping, um, but we'll see how we get on. So here we go, this is a ravine. Um, typically they're found underground, um, though this one does have a few dark spots in it as you can see. Um, and there's a number of ways you can get down and we're going to look at those today. Um, and what is essentially in a ravine is loads of ores wedged into the side and on the floor as you can see so it's a haven for ores now this one really due to its location geographically and how high it is in the map means that the main resources in it are going to be coal and iron but coal and iron are quite useful resources as we all know so it's well worth grabbing the stuff in here so as you can see here this is quite convenient there's like this little hole here what we can do is we can right click with our water bucket and we can actually let this flow down to the bottom and hop down and ride the current. This is one of the uh, more simpler ways of going down a ravine. Um, and if we just happily land at the bottom, and there we go. Now I'm just going to light this up. There's a couple of caves around by the looks of things, that's okay. I do have my shovel in my pack somewhere, but right now I just want to make sure this is lit up relatively quickly there's obviously a cave down there but that's blocked off so I'm not too worried about that and uh, let's fill any dark spots in try and avoid taking fall damage like I do because I'm very clumsy with this stuff oops there we are so remember always put torches on the right I know I've not done so here but it's because it's a surface ravine it it doesn't matter so much um, because we obviously know where the exit clearly is. Now I'm just going through the initial caves here and lighting anything suspicious looking up um, but we're not too worried about the caves that this ravine presents us right now we're more interested in the ravine itself so as you can see we're about halfway up now now this ravine is quite handy in a sense that it does actually um, give access to all the levels quite easily. Now with this water current you can actually climb back up it just holding your spacebar um, and this provides a way to get in and out. Um, the problem is it can be quite tricky when getting to the top. 
that's a, a really easy way of doing it. Um, as we know, we can also use gravel um, to go down. Um, and we can use the gravel elevator that uh, we can use. And that's just a, a standardized way of climbing up and down. But what we're going to do now is we're going to use the water bucket combined with the gravel. So we're just going to go down here. Um, and I also want to collect the water bucket as we're going down. It won't instantly disappear, as you've seen. There we are. And I want to climb all the way down to the bottom just down here and I want to let the water flow away and what we're going to do is we're going to put ladders up to the surface as we have this gravel pillar here now you could choose to put cobblestone down or something similar um, if you were already at the bottom that's always an option but I just thought we'd use gravel because I wanted to explain all the techniques I would recommend using a sturdier material like cobble but uh, I'm just doing this for the purposes of demonstration so now we have a solid way in and a solid way out. Um, we know exactly where it is. You can mark it off with torches um, or something else if you prefer. I don't know if you've been to the nether glowstone or something similar. And essentially what we can do now is just begin to start mining all the ores out of this place. So um, as we've already done the mining tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the camera again here um, because it's no longer relevant. Um, what I'm doing and what we will do is I will come back to you when I've bagged a load of these resources um, I'm not going to go wandering off into the caves uh, if you want to do so you can download the world which will be available in the description um, you can get a link to it there and you can explore the caves of this ravine for yourself I'm just gonna get some of the main ores in here let's use up this efficiency pick it's gonna make things just a little easier just be on the lookout, as always, for monsters. Um, it looks like this one has actually joined on with another one. Um, got a secondary ravine. It's quite common for ravines to join together um, and form multiple ravines. Um, and they can be quite amazing structures. Just light this up some way. Something else down there as well, but... So you have a lot of choice. Um, some ravines you can find two or even three, maybe even four ravines together, depending on where you go in your seed. Um, so there's quite a lot of opportunity. As you can see, this one stretches all the way around here. Come here, zombie. So, yeah, um, that pretty much covers ravines. Um, so what I'm going to do, as I say, is I'm going to bag a load of these resources out of this ravine and um, possibly the other one which is joined onto this one here and then we will head back um, so be right back guys okay so I'm still collecting the resources here but I uh, want to show you a few different techniques as regards getting across and around ravines one is to build bridges um, across a ravine you can always take these down later um, and if there is underground you might want to put up walls like this to prevent you from being shut off um, and as you can see there is a what looks to be the start of a cave here um, so we've we've bridged to that um, but that's just uh, a technique as well for climbing ravines um, because there are often resources that are quite high up like this you can just use gravel um, which is what we've already been using just to simply climb up reach the resources and then it's easily breakable even with your fist if you don't have a shovel to get back down again um, so as you can see here I'm just collecting this iron and this coal um, one thing I do want to show you which is going to be ready for the next episode and I didn't realize this but there is actually an abandoned mine shaft down here um, along in the second ravine um, where's my bed I just want to bring that um, it's also a good idea to bring a bed with you to set your spawn here um, by sleeping at night that way if you die you're not going to be far away from your stuff um, it may also be worth setting up a chest uh, with some emergency supplies back there as well so if we just hop down here um, I've just been exploring around and as you can see down here 
there's an abandoned mine. Um, and that is what we're going to be looking at, coincidentally, in the next episode. So the abandoned mine um, is kind of handy, this fact that it's in the same place. That abandoned mine is quite deep, so we might actually find some better resources. Um, what layer are we on? 38. So I don't know what layer the mine shaft is. If that's the top layer, then we could get some pretty good resources down there. Um, and we'll check that out in the next episode. Um, something to look forward to. Um, but we're going to have to head back first because we need a bit more stuff um, for an abandoned mine shaft than what we do for a ravine. But I'm well happy now that I put that ladder up. Um, that's going to be extremely useful. Um, how I put that ladder up. Let's just pick all this up. Um, and I'll continue to mine resources out. As you can see, there's more mine there. Big old room here. I actually found it through that little hole down there while I was mining out resources over this end. So as you can see, ravines can be a haven for for good resources. I bet you there's a monster in here. No? Oh. Ah, but there's stuff down here. I bet the mine shafts are directly below us. But that's it. So I'm going to have to head back and get some more better gear for the mine shaft because we're going to need a few different things to what we're going to need for ravines but uh, it's good to know that there is a mine shaft here. I did do the ravine tutorial first deliberately because often mine shafts can be found intersecting ravines um, and they can kind of be everywhere with them so that's why I decided to do the ravine tutorial first so that you have an idea as if you find a mine shaft in a ravine what to do about the ravine before you get into the mine shaft if that makes sense so I'm just going to keep collecting what bits of coal and man I have actually got a lot of coal I've got two stacks of coal and I've almost got a stack of iron so we're going to be pretty well okay in terms of that stuff now what I'm hoping is that uh, I'm going to go back um, and between this and the next episode I'm going to do some enchanting and hopefully um, I can get myself a Bane of Arthropod sword um, so that I can actually um, tackle a unique monster to mine shafts called Cave Spiders and they're horrible little things, Cave Spiders perhaps one of the most horrible monsters in the game, they poison you when they attack you so it's not the most pleasurable experience um, and the poison can last a long time as well depending on difficulty so I'm not crazy about that aspect of it but if I can get a Bane of Arthropod sword then they're going to die a little quicker so hopefully we'll be able to get a decent Bane of Arthropod sword just Bane of Arthropods 2 or something will be a massive help I want to spend 30 levels on it um, just trying to get a decent Bane of Arthropod sword I'll just take just whatever I can get, basically. <laughs> so, how much iron have I got now? 56. I think that's going to be enough, I think, to be honest. Uh, but I can always come back here off camera um, and do little bits and pieces as I so desire. I'm not required by any means to get it all today. But I will pick up this bit of iron right here. And I'm probably going to need to sleep in my bed now. There we go. Um, so I think now it's about time to head back to the cottage um, and prepare for the next adventure, which is going to be down into that mine shaft. Um, I'm glad we got a lot of coal, because we're going to need a lot of torches for this uh, next one. Got a whole cave here. Just waiting to be explored as well. Where's this go? Back out to the ravine? Yeah. Well, plenty of uh, new exciting stuff coming up um, in the next tutorial. I don't know how long we'll spend in the mine shaft. It might be two episodes, as there's a lot to cover with mine shafts. But we'll see how we get on. Uh, we might be able to get it all into one long one. But again, that's something we'll have to look at. Let's grab this. Uh, now nah, we'll leave that coal. We don't need it right now. Um, let's climb out of here. I've not left anything behind. I am going to bring a chest with me um, next time to store some of the other resources that we might need. Um, I've beaconed it off so I know where we're going. 
um, and that's going to be a real help and we'll see where we're going to go from there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to the cottage and I'm probably going to smelt that iron up we've got basically now a stack of iron so that's going to be a real help for future projects for sure uh, help maintain the anvil supply um, and I don't know what we'll do after that after the mine shaft um, here's the village if you were wondering what will actually stay on camera for the uh, way back so you know where I am oh, I do have my food so that's good um, so this is the village that um, we were at um, Heidi hole number one is just beyond the village if you remember and I'll be quite interested now in seeing what's gonna go and happen where are all the villagers don't tell me they've all died now there's still a couple left hanging around oh they're all over this side of the village <laughs> I won't ask <laughs> let's head back anyway so there's where the ravine is if you were unsure it's a quick recap um, and in the next episode we'll tackle the abandoned mine as I've said I don't know as I say what we'll do after that um, I'm holding off on going to the nether um, until 1.5 comes out because there's some changes to the nether which are quite important so we've got a new ore so I want to make it a little easier on myself by just holding off on that for a bit but, um, yeah, um, I would love to go and do strongholds, but uh, I need blaze powder, and we need to go to the nether for that, so I can't do strongholds just yet. Well, no doubt we'll find stuff to do. I know there's plenty of stuff that we still need to cover here in the overworld that I have not even began to look at. So, we will have enough content to keep us going until 1.5. And then in 1.5 we'll do all the nether stuff, and then probably we'll do the end as well. See them item frames over there where my uh, storage room is? I haven't loaded it. Load! Oh. So let's uh, head back to the cottage here. We'll go back inside, and we'll call it an episode. Um, hmm. Sit out here on the deck. Um, no, we'll leave that for now. I'm just going to get the remaining stuff going here let's put that cooking up um, so yeah that's ravines um, now you know all about how to deal with ravines um, so remember use the gravel or the water however you like to climb up and down um, I would highly recommend bringing your adventurers kit uh, which is what we did today um, make sure that you have a uh, perhaps bring a chest with some backup supplies I would bring a bed um, as I say to set your spawn in case you die um, and it might be worth either bringing some furnaces or some cobble um, if you have a large amount of stuff to cook up so that it can be cooking up while you're there to save some time um, so between this and the next episode I'm going to be getting prepared just enchanting some stuff ready to tackle the abandoned mine shaft um, and we'll do that in the next episode so um, I hope you found that tutorial on ravines useful and I hope to see you next time so until then guys see you later and have a good day